vacation and I'm like, why they take the wrong tube? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday and that means that I am one, two, three, three days post-op. So I ended up having my surgery on Monday. We went in, we left here Monday morning and we ended up <clears throat> going to the hospital. Now I remember this was an elective procedure um, because my tube was not rupturing at the time and because they could not see anything on the ultrasound, but I was still having the pain and my levels were slightly elevated. I mean, I could have an elective c procedure to get rid of the tube because we ha keep having the recurring ectopic pregnancies and everything like that. So they never saw anything on the ultrasound, um, but because I was having the pain on the left side, we just assumed it was my left side. So <clears throat> you'll see what I'm trying to talk about, but anyways. So we did the surgery. And, um, it took them a long time. Uh, he had a C-section that morning and he had another surgery before my surgery. So it kind of all just got pushed back. Um, I didn't end up going into surgery till like one o'clock in the afternoon. But anyways, um, all I remember is waking up and they told me they took my right tube. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, and I'm out of it. So I'm thinking, oh no, they took the wrong tube. They took the wrong tube. You guys, they didn't take the wrong tube. Um. My doctor does not know why I was having all the left side of pain that I've been having. I don't know. I couldn't tell you why I've been having all the left side of pain I've been having. Um, they went in and they went to take the left tube and they looked at the right tube. Thank goodness. And baby was in my right tube and baby wasn't going anywhere. Um, they did give me pictures and I'll save you from all of that. Um, it's pretty graphic. But, um, yeah, our little peanut was stuck in my right tube and, uh, he, it was so low down and close to my ovary that it wasn't going to be moving through the tube and out anytime soon. Um, so that morning they did check my level and it was 157, which is good, but, <laughs> um, my tube was so damaged that um, it needed to go. It really did need to go. So an elective surgery turned it turned into a very good thing. Um, he said that my tube had a bunch of damage, um, which I probably, my first um, ectopic in June, um, probably caused that damage. And I always thought it was on my left side, but when I looked back at the ultrasounds, um, looked back at the ultrasounds, they could tell that I ovulated from my right side, but they could never see the ectopic. So, um, like this time, they could not see anything. And this thing was huge. Like, it is pretty good size. And um, so, yeah, it's just crazy that they can never pick it up. And he told me sometimes the body has a hard time differentiating like through tissue and stuff like if there's no bone or anything to bounce back off of so sometimes it just gets missed oh so, yeah baby is in my right tube um the tube got removed and the tube did not look good um it was all black and purple and there was like two big old masses in it um so yeah that side did not look good he said my left side does look good um it looks healthy um but he said he cannot see inside of it. So he would not know if there's a blockage or anything like that. Um, and so I have two incisions. They're probably about this size on my left side because they intended to take out the left side. And the one on the farthest uh, of my left, I, it hurts a lot. And I'm thinking maybe because they were digging kind of to get to the right one. I don't know for sure. But it hurts because they end up taking the right side out. So and then there's one through my belly button i'm assuming to put the gas in but um and it didn't mess with my hernia or anything like that and they did not fix it um they said that i didn't have to have an actual surgeon fix that so there's that so <laughs> all in all i got my right tube taken out and it very much needed to come out so i am so glad and i will tell you this again you guys listen to your body 
you are your own advocate and if you do not feel right chances are it is not right and I remember telling like my Nana and Tavish like I just don't feel right something's not right and I just kept on and kept on and kept on and you guys know I keep on and keep on and I'm so glad that I did because that tube could have ruptured or something bad could have happened or it could have just got like left in there and then we try and get pregnant it gets backed up again like you know what I mean and it doesn't look like he told me that it looked like it was not going to be um, reabsorbed anytime soon if at all so <clears throat> it needed to come out and so the left side looks pretty good um, he said that I had a cyst on that side which maybe that's causing the pain maybe it's pretty much where we are I am just recovering I am really sore and I think I'm trying to do way too much because I'm trying to keep up with my work and it's just a little overwhelming so um, I've just been trying to find a balance There's no balance right now <laughs> but anyways <clears throat> so I just want to get on here and update you really guys update you guys really quick and let you know that I'm okay um, but they did take my right tube and there was a baby and it was definitely ectopic and um, now that's removed and so he said that we should be able to go on to have you know a healthy baby if we wanted to we are not ready for that anytime soon and um, I just trying to take care of myself well I am sad that this happened um, I'm really glad at the same time like I was trying to explain it to Tavish like it is nice to know that there was a problem there is a problem and we are being proactive about that problem and trying to eliminate it so um, while it's sad and I may not be able to conceive in the end um, it the surgery was way the outcome of the surgery outweighs anything like I don't know how to explain it you guys like at least I know if something does ha like if we don't get pregnant and then at least I tried and at least I don't have to worry about it um, being another topic on that side or anything like that so it just gives me peace of mind kind of you know what I mean like um, and it wasn't going to come out and that too was so damaged you guys and he said it probably was damaged from the first ectopic that we had and the methotrexate you know it did what it needed to do to to take my numbers down but there was still a blockage or something in the tube so anyways <laughs> moral of the story listen to your body you are the best person who knows how your body feels and how it should feel and what is right and just listen to yourself and be easy on yourself it's it's been a long year for us but i'm glad that we ended up getting the surgery done and i am sad that we've lost three babies this year but who knows maybe one day we'll have a healthy baby or maybe not and i i think that's what i was trying to say earlier that i'm not sad that i got my tube taken out a lot of people would be sad that they got their tube taken out um we have three healthy babies and if taking out a tube gives us one more than it does and if it doesn't then it, it doesn't but I can't keep gambling with my health um, and do the methotrexate and try and hope that everything got out of that tube and have it happen again or anything like that. Um, I've had surgery four times this year now and this is the last one has been the most invasive obviously i've never been cut open before um monday so yeah there's that but i'm glad that um everything was taken care of that needed to get taken care of and i'm glad i had a doctor who would listen to me this time and um actually did what i asked of him but you guys when I woke up and they told me they took the right tube, I was freaking out. I'm like, why? Why did they take the good tube? They're like, it wasn't the good tube. <laughs> you can only imagine <laughs> what I was like. Because I woke up like already like, you know, on medication and I'm like, why did they take the wrong tube? They're like, it wasn't the wrong tube, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like so irritated and so like angry. 
but anyways guys well, that's pretty much it but you guys can you believe it my little tiny baby crow crow his birthday is on Saturday, you guys. Cronin's gonna be one on Saturday, and I'm definitely recording his party for you guys. So definitely look out for that. But if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Like I said, they gave me tons of pictures, and I don't want to scar anyone with those. So, um, yeah. But uh, it was really good. When I went to my post-op appointment on Tuesday, he said everything looks great. All my uh, incisions look great. Um, and he actually took the time to like go over the pictures individually, so it was really nice. But anyways guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'm sorry this video is so short, but I am hurting sitting here and I really don't have much more to update on just to let you know that, you know, what they found. Any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow us on Instagram for Saturday because I will be posting all of his birthday stuff on there. And I might try to do like a live thing so you guys can all see him blow, like smash his cake or whatever. So I thought that would be cute. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.